universal norms and ideals that it upholds and the projects that it does, you have it. It's not just a matter of we can't practice polygamy. He says it's a matter of we can't even joke about polygamy or talk about polygamy. It's very simple. What's unique, perhaps, or what's interesting is that he connects this to Islam, to the primary sources. And here, the European Parliament will now read a message from him to everyone. Thank you. In the 1980s and 1990s, it evolved into a national community of educators. And from the 1990s and 2000s onwards, it became what uh, we call a transnational civil society grassroots movement. Now, Gulen's main. Uh, how the uh, how last question is? Uh, you know that we have problem with the Islamic terrorists now in Europe, and a lot of country, European country, want to. And uh, PKK, uh, there are claims, widespread claims of the AKP government that the Islamic movement is against a settled process. Um, on, on actual crisis of Islamic world, or uh, what do you think on the objective of? Uh, Position of everyone. A dear family friend passed away and I'm attending a funeral in Germany. I thank you one of the most important topics in the current Turkey Progress Report of the Parliament, of which I am rapporteur for. Publicly, a traitor, how does this affect your daily life? And secondly, in the post December 17 corruption charges process, Sismet has been now declared as being the source of all evil. Uh, around think is killed by the Ismet people. Uh, the three missionaries in Malati is killed by the uh, uh, Ismet people. Kobani has been done by, by How do you explain this? Uh, how comfortably the, the government can go all with these accusations uh, and, and how Ismet can defend itself, really defending itself against all these accusations and like this? Thank you. Uh, Oscar de Kelesh. He's chairperson of the Dialogue Society in London, the Dialogue Society. So we will start now with uh, Mr. Kellich. He will be talking about the Ismet movement in Europe. Uh, we can achieve a coexistence and indeed perhaps a cross fertilization of those two entities that my personal condolences are conveyed to him. I'd also like to thank the European Parliament and the organizers and co-organizers of this event. I think it's immensely important the topic of this. Um, I can express my you, I have freedom of speech to do so, and there's, there's no problem there. The point about his met on, on judging an action, not an actor, is to avoid this self-righteous behavior where we go about and we judge people's personal choice of lifestyle. You uh, a secretive religious organization, and I'll try to analyze and contextualize uh, this uh, problem. Uh, starting with the very brief history of the uh, Republican uh, Turkish history uh, so that we understand why the moment operates in certain ways and what the Erdogan government is trying to achieve. Uh, after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, which was multi-religious, multi-ethnic, multilingual, the... Uh, uh, around the Kulen movement, especially now, um, President Erdogan loves to make comments about uh, the Gulen movement, so we're very much looking forward to that. Thank you.